Hey everybody, I'm Sifu Bodhi. Welcome back to our 30-day Qigong challenge. Now today is day 11, and of course we are talking about Qigong for digestion. Now if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Now, you might be asking yourself why I'm including digestion on the week that we're doing mobility, and that would be a really good question. Um, but when it comes to the movement of muscles, the digestive organs, specifically the spleen and stomach, rule over the muscles and rule over the extremities. Um, and so when we're looking at moving the body, we need some chi to move the muscles. Um, and therefore, our spleen and stomach turn the food we eat into the chi and blood we need to nourish our tissue. So that being said, let's get into action, and as always, let's start with a few cleansing breaths. So step the feet out, bend the knees, tuck the pelvis under, lifting from the crown of the head. Take a deep breath in, visualize gathering white light all around the body as you breathe in, and as you breathe out, pulling it down, melting all tension down into the ground. In two. And melt. In three, gather. And melt. In four. And melt. And in five. and melt. Beautiful. So um, as we work today, we're going to be going through three different exercises, some that are going to focus on the spleen and stomach themselves, some are going to focus on the intestines, um, and some are going to focus on the entire digestive tract. And remember, with all of these programs, these 15-minute programs that we're going to be doing over the month, you are going to be able to pick and choose either certain exercises or an entire program to add to your uh, Qigong program that we're going to be stitching together at the end of the month. And remember, you got to go to BodhiMedicalQigong.com because there is a, a free download that you can do. Um, that is going to give you a symptom checklist so you can say well how am I feeling today let's check off a few things and that's what you can was going to tell you what to incorporate into your workout so make sure you check it out bodhimedicalchigong.com um, that is a free download for all you guys um, so we are going to be starting with uh, exercise to target the entire digestive tract called the five young organ exercise, a really, really great exercise. Um, and for all of the digestive movements we're going to be doing today, we really want to be incorporating that extended diaphragmatic breath. Uh, so breathing in, pushing the belly out, breathing out, pulling the belly in to stimulate that peristaltic movement, the movement through the digestive tract and uh, creating massage on the internal organs. So let's start with slightly bent, knees uh, bent, pelvis tucked under, lifting from the crown of the head. Now the physical movement is pretty simple. We're going to kind of like we're catching a ball and throwing it away. Catching a ball, throwing it away. And on the catch is going to be a breath in, and on the throw is going to be a breath out. And this is actually done pretty quickly, quite vigorous. Um, so let's begin. Breath in and out. In, out, in. Out, in, out, in, out. Remember, as you're breathing in, you push the belly out. Hey, bud. And as you breathe out, pull your belly in. My partner in crime here making his Cameo appearance, as always. What's going on? Breathe out. In. Big belly. Catch. Throw. Catch. Throw. Catch. Throw. Couple more. Last one. Beautiful cleansing breath. Deep breath in. And out. 
one more. And out. So yeah, this exercise definitely a little bit more on the yang side, uh, being that is the five yang organ exercise, but a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more explosive. Uh, you may even feel yourself a little lightheaded, so feel free to do, do it a little bit slower when you do it, but the nature of it is big and explosive, pushing the belly out, pulling the belly in, so you really get that stimulation through the digestive tract. So let's move on to our specific organs, being the spleen and stomach that we really want to activate today. And we're going to sample from Bodhi Medical Qigong. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to bring the feet together. We're going to turn the foot out, right foot turning out 45 degrees. And we're going to step that left foot out into a seven star stance. And of course, this is going to be transforming earth. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, as we breathe out, we're going to sit back. So all of our weight goes into our right leg. We get a good stretch in the left and we're going to load up because spleen and, uh, spleen and stomach remains run in the, the quad muscle and we're going to sink down, relaxing the hands. And as we breathe in, we're going to sink forward, pushing the, all our weight into our left leg. So we load up that left leg, open up the chest, pulling the fingertips up. We're going to expand big open body expanding into yang. So we collapse into yin, we expand into yang. We breathe out and we breathe in. All right, so let's sit back, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, all the weight in the back leg, all the weight in the front leg, really sink forward into that lunge. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, Breathing in, let's do two more. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Step your right foot up. Step your left foot back. Breathing out, let's do it all on the opposite side now. Breathing out. Breathing in, sink into the right leg now. Expand into yang. Breathing out, collapse into yin. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Open the body, stretch. Breathing out, breathing in. I can hear Buddy in the Christmas tree over there. Breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, one more, breathing in and breathing out. Stepping up, cleansing breath, breathing in, and breathing out. Really nice. Now in our last week in our challenge, we're gonna be going through all the energetic stimulation, and we're gonna be looking at where the meridians travel in the body, and that allows you to know what exercises stimulate what meridians are going to have that energetic effect on whatever particular organ. Uh, so, for example, in that last exercise we were doing here, the spleen and stomach channel run down the entire front of the leg. So anytime we load up the quad, we actually stimulate spleen and stomach channel. So any exercise where we're feeling it through the front of the leg, we're going to get some stimulation down those meridians. So really quite neat, and you can start to put things together on your own as you get more comfortable of where the meridians run and what muscles are working at that time. And you can build your own program and that's what I want for you guys. I want you to be able to take care of yourself and you use me when you need. 
So uh, we're going to give you one last exercise for our digestive program, and this one is all for the intestines. And we want to think that 27 feet of curled up intestine, small and large intestine in there. And so this exercise is going to be a visualization of cleaning, kind of like we're doing the dishes, we're going to be cleaning and clearing any stagnations through the digestive tract. So our intention here is as we move our hands, it's like we're cleaning things out. So we're going to have the left hand in front of the tummy, and our right hand, we're going to turn the pinky forward, and the pinky is going to be doing the driving. And what I want you to visualize is I want you to visualize a figure eight on the ground in front of you. And we're going to be traveling through the middle, around the outside, through the middle, close to the body. Through the middle, around the outside, through the middle, close to the body. And you can kind of visualize maybe like a, one of those old race car sets that always went in a figure eight on the ground. Uh, so we're just going to visualize breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Allow your body to shift and sway. Stay nice and relaxed. And remember your intention is to clean and clear any blockages, any stagnations that may be impeding the digestion moving through your intestines. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Now this can be a bit of a challenge, especially as we cross across the midline of the body. Both hemispheres of our brain have to get in on the action, which is so wonderful. What's called neuroplasticity changes the brain, wires the brain. It's Qigong is brain gym. It's amazing. One more pass, and out. Now let's switch hands. Right hand on the tummy, left hand, pinky face and forward. Breathing in through the middle, around the outside. Breathing out through the middle, back in front. Breathing in through the middle, around the outside. Breathing out through the middle, back in front. Breathing in, hey boy. Breathing out. Breathing in. Are you doing some Qigong with me? Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. You may have noticed if you've been watching these videos that we installed a, a brand new window uh, here on the right side of the screen and Buddy is loving the fact that he can see out the window much better. So it's like a whole new world has opened up to him. <laughs> Breathing in through the middle and around. Breathing out, breathing in, clearing those stagnations, breathing in, clearing any blockages. One more time, and out. Now we're going to take it up one more level. We're going to do this bilaterally. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the right, breathing in. And as it goes around the outside, coming back, we're going to start the left, breathing out. And they're going to switch. Going around in opposition, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. They meet in the center. Breathing out. They will go around the edges. Breathing in. They meet in the center. Breathing out around the edges. And this one can be a bit challenging. It's a wonderful standing and moving meditation. Really great way to stimulate. Remember they say, yidao chi dao, where the mind goes, the chi follows. So you're focusing on getting rid of those stagnations, getting rid of those blockages, smoothing and cleaning and activating the movement through the intestines. Breathing nice and easy, and out, and in, and out, and in, and out. Now if you have trouble, absolutely okay to go back, just do one, then do the other. Or continue just to one side for a few repetitions and then do the other for a few repetitions. 
It's up to you, whatever you feel, depending on your coordination, your ability. Don't drive yourself too crazy. Shouldn't be stressful. It should be challenging. But we don't want to create stress. So allow yourself to be a beginner. Allow yourself to slowly get better at it. We're always seeking perfection of character, never finding. So breathe nice and easy. One last breath. And out. Beautiful. Let's finish off with some cleansing breath. Deep breath in. And out. 45 right. Breathing in. And out. 45 left. Breathing in and out. 90 right and out and 90 left and out. At the bottom, always raise a little wisdom water of the kidney. At the heart, turn it over, wash down the heart fire. Always want to balance yin and yang, raising up and washing down. So well done. Well, guys, this was day 11. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you uh, learned a few things that you can take away to use in your own program. Remember, as always, share this video with your friends, your family, anybody who needs a little digestive tune-up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.